Well, Alan Tudge is the parliamentary secretary to the Prime Minister, so to talk about uh, those issues, uh, he joins us now. Alan, when a servant of the party puts into print words like should hang their heads in collective shame and complains about trust and retribution and sends it to at least 27 addressees, it's designed to leak, isn't it? Well, I don't know about that, but it certainly had a, a message um, for the recipients. Um, we've had a tough few weeks, as you know, but that is now behind us. The spill motion was defeated and we're very much concentrating on those things which matter to the Australian people. That is our absolute focus. No longer focusing on our internal dynamics, no longer focusing on what one party official or what one volunteer said, but focusing on those things that matter to the Australian people economic security and national security in particular. Mr Higginson would be a person of some stature, wouldn't he? He claims to have actively participated in raising almost $70 million for the party, so uh, it puts him in a position of some importance. Absolutely. He's been a great servant of the, the party. He was the, um, the national um, treasurer of the administrative arm of the party and, and through that being one of the chief fundraisers. Of course we take what he says seriously, he's a highly respected individual, but we'll deal with those matters internally ourselves and we'll um, very much focus on what matters to the Australian people though. So the Prime Minister has both described this Higginson letter as a storm in a teacup, but also of people having a desire to damage and destroy his government. Do you take that to be a reference to those in and around the Liberal Party itself? Listen, I, I have read what he's put down in his email. Um, I don't agree with all the things which he stated in his email. Um, I don't want to get into the ins and outs of what we're doing within inside the ranks of the Liberal Party. As I said, I want to talk about the things that matter to the Australian people. They're concerned about cost of living pressures. They're concerned about jobs growth. They're concerned about national security. And they're very much the things that we're focused on, Greg. But is it any coincidence that Mr Higginson highlights what history will now record was a grievance, and maybe still is, a grievance of the party room as well, which is uh, control and operations within the PMO. Do you not see how these uh, streams are flowing Together. The, the, the main thing which he raised in his email, which has been reported in the Fairfax Press today, um, was his concern about the relationship between the Federal Director and the Chief of Staff. And my only point to that is that those two individuals have been... Brian Lochnane, the Federal Director, has been in his position for 12 years. Um, Peter Credlin, the Chief of Staff, has been in her position for what would it be, I think four or five years. Now, um, none of these concerns were raised previously. They weren't raised when we almost won the 2010 election. They weren't raised when we emphatically won the 2013 election. And I just think we want to put this into perspective, put it in some respects, these issues behind us and focus back on the issues that matter to everyday Australians. So you are a parliamentary secretary to the Prime Minister. I guess that implies that he is open to listening to your advice. What would be your advice about uh, the sustainability of those two positions, Mr Lochnane and, more importantly, Peter Credlin? Do you offer advice on staffing? Um, those two people have been absolute um, policy and political professionals for well over a decade each now. Um, they've been key parts of our team for such a long time. I have a very good relationship with, with each of them. I constantly raise things with, which each, with each of the two individuals and I raise things, of course, directly with the Prime Minister and other Cabinet Ministers as well. Um, I have immensely, immense regard for both of them. Now, if it is a storm in a teacup, it's probably a storm the government can't afford to have right now, with news polls suggesting that it remains uh, behind Labor, 53-47, to party preferred. Uh, what's your explanation for what's going on and at what point a more significant turnaround might occur? I know there's been a, yeah, a lift Greg, in... I actually... <laughs> I looked at those news poll figures and actually saw a bit of upside rather than downside. Now... Um, we're still in a weak position, but the change over a fortnight has actually been quite a considerable improvement for the stocks of the Coalition. And it's a, the most significant result was a very significant drop in the net satisfaction ratings for Bill Shorten. So we've still got a long way to go. We've, we've had tough weeks and we've admitted the mistakes that we've made, but we've also put in place a number of structures for greater consultation. We've made a number of policy changes already, for example, in, 
in relation to um, foreign ownership of agricultural land. Um, there'll be further changes made in relation to small business, in relation to families. Do, do you think those, just to stop you there, do you yeah. think those policy announcements are responsible for what News Poll uh, suggests was a three-point lift in the, the primary vote? Uh, listen, I... Um, there's all sorts of things which go on, go into that, but I, I think the Australian people are sick of seeing political parties talking about themselves. And when they see us very much focusing on the things that matter to them, then I think that they reward that political party. That's what we've been doing over the last couple of weeks. That is our absolute firm commitment to do for the months and years ahead. Focus on those things that matter to them. It is childcare. It is small businesses. It is ensuring the budget is under control so that we're not leaving Labor's debt for future generations to pay off. It's ensuring jobs growth. And we've already seen such terrific jobs growth in the last 16 months since this government has been in power. They're the type of things we're absolutely focused on. All right, Alan Tudge, we'll let you get on with that mission. Thank you. Thanks so much, Greg.